The Archer's Choice TV Show with America's favorite bow hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki Cianciarulo. When you're a bow hunter, nothing seems to be impossible to hunt. No matter how small or how big, we set our gear and start practicing with it day in and day out, getting ready for that one chance. That single opportunity when it's time to draw, anchor, aim, and release. And let me tell you, the toughest thing to take with your bow has to be the wild turkey. Nothing about them is easy. They really aren't that big. Their vitals are very small target, and they're always on the move. When they strut, if you don't know where to shoot, most of the time you just get better. Their eyesight can catch even the most seasoned veteran hunter, and camouflage is very critical. Yes, there are times you can go into the woods, sit down, and just try and call wham. You get a response, and here he comes. But to be consistently successful in the field on these beautiful redheads, you better have a game plan. Have your calling down pat. Be using a good quality blind and be ready to shoot. For if not, these birds can destroy your confidence in a hurry. That's why we love chasing redheads in the spring. Is that a bear or what? Look at the size of this bear! He's a bruiser! Welcome to the Archer's Choice. Last week we had so much fun showing you some of that bow hunting action for spring turkeys that this week we're at it again chasing some redheads. We got so much footage last spring that we had to make a second part. Because we love chasing those redheads. And he is still talking turkeys. your local sporting goods store and you know what has happened to turkey hunting. It's exploded. With over 2.6 million turkey hunters, turkey hunting remains one of the fastest growing types of hunting today. From a bird that was almost extinct to now with a population close to 6 million birds and seasons are held in 49 states and parts of Canada. This is a story of great magnitude. Due to the National Wild Turkey Federation, and all the concerned sportsmen and women across the United States, the wild turkey is here to stay in a strong way. It is due to the licensing fees and contributions from the sportsmen and women that allow this types of things to happen. No anti-organizations are putting back anything. It is up to us to protect the animal's habitat, well-being, and keep the game wards out in the fields to keep the poachers under control. If it wasn't for the hunters of yesterday and today, there would be no turkeys left, period. Every year we go to Nebraska. It's some really fun hunting. It's a lot of creek bottom hunting. We did some canyon hunting on this particular year, real steep sides on the, on the walls, and it was really windy that day. So we set up down on the bottom of the canyon and did some calling, kind of working our way through, and got some birds to answer. And sure enough, they showed up on the very top of the hill. And, you know, everybody talks about it. It's tough to call a bird downhill. When those birds made the break and started coming down that canyon wall, I thought it was some kind of god on the call or something. But that, it was not the case. It was just one of those deals where we actually had a hen had slid up behind us, behind the blind, and she was just feeding around right, right there with us. And that was enough to bring those two gobblers down the hill. These birds came by close, and we actually had to switch a bunch of different window openings on the, on the blind to get a shot at these birds. When I drew back the first time, I was a little off balance. Actually, my arrow actually came off the rest. I had to let back down again, get my arrow repositioned, come to full draw again. So when the shot initially should have been a 10, 12-yard shot, it ended up being probably closer to 25. And, and it's, um, 
When the bird went down, it was just that was one of those hunts where it was just a huge sigh of relief that after being so close, thought thought you know thought the hunt was slipping away, it came to fruition and it, and, it, and it was a successful hunt. Hurry up, hurry up, the back one. That was an awesome hunt. Those two birds we were set up about a hundred yards down. There's a whole dam here, but it's been real dry. Everything's all dried out. We said, well, let's get out and look around. We sat there for about an hour, took a little nap, came down here, got to where it goes around the corner, and we hit that box call, and it roared back in. So Aaron stayed up here and watched. I went back, got all the gear, brought it back up here. And we called, and we called, and they were gobbling. And it's nice and calm down in this low spot today. So they were out of the wind. We figured it'd be a good spot. Dang, if they didn't show up top of that knoll there, strutting their butts off. It would have been a pretty shot, but we were hoping they'd come down. Then we had another Tom come through right in front of us. And we waited and waited and waited. Finally, they came down the hill. They were probably, I'm guessing, six or seven foot from the blind at one point. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. We found the experts when it comes to bow hunting turkeys from blind. We did. From Double Bow Archer, we have Brooks and Keith. They are unbelievable with their knowledge. These guys know what it takes and how to do it. Let's check out Keith's hunt. People have different experiences and beliefs calling in a turkey. Just kind of try to listen to that turkey and understand it. Um, I use a lot of slates and a lot of diaphragms. Brooks uses a lot of box call. But what he does is that he's not just firing away yelping crazy on that box call. He's doing a lot of purrs and clucks. When you get that bird interested in you, just keep talking to him. But I like to say that I'm whispering to the turkeys. If a bird comes in and starts to hang up and he's strutting out there, just some real soft, you know, you know just some real light stuff with a diaphragm, a slate, or even a box call. And Brooks does it great with a box call. He just drags it real slow and then just cluck. And, and if you keep talking to that bird, he's going to keep coming. If you get real aggressive with a, a bird, he's going to hang up because, well, that hen ought to be able to see him. But if you just keep whispering, he's going to keep coming. gonna get drawn on something you just poked and it's gonna get up and run away and you're gonna kill it. He's got about a 10 inch beard. That's eight inches, right? <laughs> so beautiful. Beautiful. Man, that was a fun morning. We had six long beards at less than 10 feet right up here on this green grass. 
probably only 10 foot wide. We put Jeff Schmidt out here in the field so that he could film us. And they just come in. Birch goes, plan on getting your bow? <laughs> Get it ready. Now that was a pretty exciting action with those redheads. Yeah, huh? baby. Yeah, we'll be right back with more of the Archer's Choice. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. This next turkey hunt is Team Bow Hunter's Chad Crayhill. You know what, it was a great hunt because I don't know who was more excited, him or me. You know, we were hunting in Nebraska with James Bryan and were we pumped or what? a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Miriam. Oh. First Miriam of the bow. It's mature, at least he has a mature fan. Not much in the bird category, but I don't care. <laughs> it's a bird. Oh. Check this out! 
Spit those, baby. <laughs> good bee, good mature bee. Hot dog. What a hunt. Once again, we're up here with Gobbles and Grunts, James Bryan, in Nebraska, hunting Merriam turkeys. We have had an incredible, incredible few days. If you guys are looking to try and complete your slam or get another species of turkey, these Merriams here with James Bryan, is, uh, they're unbelievable. We got double bull blinds set up all over. We have activity coming out the Yangi. This is the real deal. What a bird, look at that. Oh man, what a bird. We hope you enjoyed all the great action that we had hunting those redheads. And, yeah, those redheads. And really... Ralph, I just want to let you know yeah. that if I ever find you chasing any other redheads besides a turkey, that's the end of you. So stay tuned. Come back next week, same time. Same station. Right, right here on the Archer's Choice. Choice.